Hi Central Valley, I'm Lauren Wallace and we're about to head out on a shorter trail today, but it is going to be tough with quite a bit of elevation gain. The views will be worth it though, so let's get going to Yosemite National Park and get on the trail to Inspiration Point. We just drove up Highway 41 to Tunnel View, which is about 25 miles past the south entrance to the park. As soon as you get out of the tunnel, you'll want to make your first right-hand turn into the parking lot, which is across the street from the parking lot people typically use to get that view. Our trail is going to start near the accessible parking spaces in our lot, and it's immediately going to start going uphill. We've gone about three tenths of a mile and we are just about standing on top of the Wawona Tunnel and we've certainly lost the crowds that were at Tunnel View. Today's hike is going to be about two and a half miles round trip, but it's going to be a steep one. In fact, we're going to gain about a thousand feet in elevation just in that first mile to get us to Inspiration Point. We're about six tenths of a mile in and we've encountered Old Wawona Road. We do want to continue straight and cross over the road here. If we go to our left, that'll take us down to Bridal Veil Fall in Yosemite Valley. And then going to our right will take us a more roundabout way to Inspiration Point on an unmaintained road. wondering, the old Wawona road that we crossed over back there was the stagecoach road to the valley before 1933, and that's when the Wawona tunnel was built that we all use today. The old Wawona road rose steeply from Grouse Creek up to Inspiration Point before it dropped sharply down into the valley. So the Wawona tunnel that we now use today is much more gradual with its descent into the valley, and it also gives us the iconic tunnel view. After hiking quite steeply for just over a mile, we've made it to flatter ground at Inspiration Point. There have been a lot of trees blocking the view so far on this hike, so at this sign, we're going to take a right, take a short hike, and end up in a clearing, and that's going to give us a much better view. At about a mile and a quarter, we made it to this clearing and we have such a fantastic unobstructed view. This is similar to tunnel view, but with far fewer people. So we're going to stick around here for a little bit and enjoy the peace and quiet before heading back to the car. Thank you so much for coming along with us on today's adventure. Make sure you go to yourcentralvalley.com and click the on the trail section and you can find your next hike. Until then, I'm Lauren Wallace and I'll see you out on the trail.